How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? And Treyarch just released the whole teaser, or not the teaser, like the whole map, like the whole name of it, of everything, of Firebase Z, which is going to be the first DLC for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So that's a plus, man. I I've been just waiting for a new map and everything, man. You know, D Machine, great, great remake, you know, just added some new things. The flow is incredible, man. I gotta say, but you know, it's just lacking on the content department when there's just only one map and there's that in Dead Ops Arcade and you know, you can only play those two mo two maps and everything for such a long period of time before, you know, you'll just get bad shit crazy and just like fucking, oh my gosh, just give me more. Like, man, I don't know if they're going to even bring back Gobblegums or do any um, elixirs or any iteration of microtransactions for the whole zombie side of things besides, you know, how it's going with multiplayer with, like, the store items and everything, which is doing great of its own. So the image right here is fucking incredible, man. So this is being taken place, I can only assume, is from a Black Ops 1 mission, and it's when I can't, I can't remember the map but if you guys remember the once the one scene where where it was just it was just like this one song you and jason hudson comes out of a tent and then frank was just comes down from a helicopter and mason was like you woods you look like hammer and shit and then was just like it's vietnam baby something like that it's just like the whole map is based around that mission from black Ops one so you know that's cool you know like an uh an actual map that's not going to be a remake of any kind but you know people are speculating that we're going to get remakes from Derry or Kino, I would love to see a remake of Kino, dude. Just like Kino is one of my favorite maps of all time. Such a replayable map, and I just love it very, very much. But yeah, this is where the whole DLC is um like it's gonna be taken at during that um area in that Black Ops 1 mission that I just said. Like I can't like I don't know what more to say. It's just something I could just remember from that mission was just from that. But yeah, that's the general whole area that it's going to be from. So we got here is just Samantha Maxis and this little slash of a just like the ether. Either she's either in control of it or she's corrupted. You know, it's just one of the two, and we got these two dudes sitting next or that are right next to her and everything. And I was like thinking, bro, there's no way you gotta do me like this, man. I felt like okay, my first instance was just like, dude, that's gotta be Rick Toffin. But like I had to look up close in a certain way, and it doesn't look like Eddie, you know? Even though people were like, Oh my god, guys, it's R. There's a guy named R that sent the letter and shit. That's fucking Rick Toffin, but but no, but no. As much as I want want to see our man Eddie to be brought back, well he is back, but just you know, we got to see him and like, you know, in a cutscene or something, as much as I want to, sure, he could be he could actually just could be looking like that, you know. Samantha Maxis looks, you know, a lot different from growing up so that could be just technically eight um eddie but you know it could be whoever else is there and then the guy on her left i was thinking like the first in the first thought that comes to mind i was like is that tank dempsey but i'm like no there has to be either a reboot of the character or some or a soft reboot like that'll be just some guy who's gonna be voicing like a different version of tank dempsey who, who, like looks like tank dempsey but doesn't look but that's not exactly him just be looking like him but voice differently but i i don't know man that's just what i'm thinking and the whole supremacist like the whole eastern is gonna revolve around saving samantha maxis from being captured um she did say that she was gonna go meet a client at this certain area maybe those two on the on the picture is gonna be the clients that like she was attend to meeting or maybe they just betray her and backstab her and just captures her and just finds like um omega group just captures her like sets a trap to capture her for alpha um for the alpha group to or alpha or, omega, or you know the omega group the cyborg weaver is in to actually come and rescue her from the other side of the group like i can't remember man it's been like a hot minute since i kept up with the story man and i'm already like you know fucking it up man but um yeah that's i think that's gonna be the whole supremacist i don't know if there's gonna be more 
co like more um context within it like if we're gonna see some Max go into the area and see her stuff get captured and then weaver sends out the shrek team to go rescue her and we get a cutscene and everything you know tons of possibilities could happen within this map but you know it's great the zombies look fucking scary as all hell and the fucking boss zombie it's like an iteration between like a mongwa and a keeper and like i don't know what else man man that fucking creature looks fucking who looks scary man like fucking scary but i just can't wait man i just can't wait to play another map and you know i'm just I'm, I'm just excited that you know for once they're doing this for free and not really for dlc because you know that's how it is normally but yeah i'm excited for our first free zombies dlc and everything i just hope this one just sits like the like sets up like the first impressions of how the rest of the dlcs are going to be man i just hope it'll just be great i hope this one just knocks it out of the park and just does wonders for me and everybody else in the zombies community so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment sections if not that's okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is sonico c39 and i hope you have a wonderful morning night day evening whatever the occasion is and i will see you all lovely ladies and gentlemen in the next one later